shoot this gun. Got a bunch of old cast iron here. Picked this stuff up from a yard sale. It's all rusty. And I'm going to attempt to clean it here. I got it all loaded up here. As you can see how, how, how orange, <laughs> how orange it is just from the rust and all that. So we're going to give it a go. Rust that set up to the top. So let's take a look. I just let, let it sit about two weeks not bad first time touching them up since soaking in vinegar and water not bad they cleaned up pretty good now I have to take my time and season them real real good before I use them will vinegar and water work I'm gonna add one gallon of vinegar not going to fill it that way i don't dilute the vinegar too much you don't see any uh rust on top of the water right now that vinegar and water is taking care of business now put that in there oh look at the difference look at that old straightening comb look at that i'll be doggone i'm not believing that see how it's coming along and uh look at that removing rust from metal with vinegar and water works very well oh axe head that thing must be a hundred years old look at this old axe axe head look at that what happens when you take your skill saw blade and attach it to your weed eater hey y'all i think this is gonna be a whole lot of fun just hang on like a hair in a gravy biscuit Guess what? Put the blade on backwards. <laughs> Making homemade brick pavers from an egg carton and meat trays. So that's not bad. First time making homemade pavers from meat trays. Oh, look at there. converted a four by four post into one inch flooring. But what I'm attempting to do here is marriage these two trees. And I'm gonna cut half of it away. And then on the other side, on the other log, I'm gonna cut half of it away and see if I can marriage both of them. Touch it up a little bit, it'll be fine. That's another way to expand to extend the length of a pole also. The difference between logs that I allowed to set out and get wet versus the, the logs that I covered. All of them are dried now, but here's the thing. If you don't keep your logs dry, you'll wind up doing extra work like I'm doing now, sanding these, to clean them up, 
before you can use them versus just taking the extra effort and making sure when you cut or fell a tree, you keep it dry. Oh, oh, look at that. I jacked up, y'all. Jacking up farmhouse. Got a four by four here. Short one by six here. Now, if I lower my jack, I've actually elevated the house a little bit. Hopefully you can see that separation between the corner of the house and the jack there. You want a weed barrier? Don't want to use cardboard? This is your lifesaver right here. I'm about to show you what it is. If I can rip it up, it's like a Christmas gift, man. You don't have to worry about taking no tape off no cardboard. You don't have to worry about doing any of that. I'm about to tell you, this is your lifesaver right here, man. I'm it's a lawn and leaf bag. Just open the bottom of it up, press the corners away from each other, and just lay your lawn and leaf bags down. You can interlock the bottom to make it more seamless. And I tell you what, I had to share this. One bag by itself is two ply. So when you press two bags together, it becomes four ply. It's time to feed my compost tea. Watermelon rinds, old apples and banana uh, peelings. All this is going to go into my liquid Kool-Aid compost. I wish you could see all the microorganisms swimming around in this stuff. It's nothing but rainwater and yard trimmings and old, old debris. Look, even have something growing in the compost tea. I have a liquid compost straining tip for you. You have your compost bin, uh, put your piece of screen over top of your compost bin, put your five gallon bucket or container on top of the screen, press it down. Now you're straining your compost without having to stress about it. Attempt to grow a pineapple tree. Today is June 27th, 2023. You're looking at a store-bought pineapple. I took the top off of it, set it in water. It's July 28th, 2023. Set up my first pineapple. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm pouring my homemade Kool-Aid compost directly into the root by using a funnel. It's September 23rd, 2023, and that pineapple top that I planted is actually doing very, very good. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to regrow an onion. This time the roots look a little bit different. I tried it once before and I think I, I drowned it out. Just two days after. That's the same red onion bottom. Look at the roots. They're, all, they're at the bottom of the glass now. It's doing real good. It's time to repot it. Had a taste for lemonade, went to the store, bought some lemons, made the lemonade, kept the seeds, planted the seeds, and now they are growing. A pot full of lemons from seeds of store-bought lemons. 